Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hoi Today, we're going to get up to some mischief. We're going to do some things that are going to be kind of fun. I've got some ideas that uh, hmm, they're going to work out wonderfully in our favor. Let me just say... Oh, that's okay. I was wondering, what in the world is in there? Anyway, first, before we get digging into, uh, you know, a little bit of fun stuff, we're going to go down this, the King's Road. King's Road? No. <laughs> I've been watching too much Game of Thrones. Uh, we're going to go down this way. So this is a path that we made. When we made the building that stores our terracotta and stuff like that, we made this path that comes through here. And this path, I mean, you could call it the King's Road, I guess, because it leads up to the Crassel. So, one thing about this, one thing that I want to do, well, it'll serve two purposes. One, I want to build something like right here. A little bit of a gate. And the gate will be like, hey, there will be some people. They'll say, hey, why are you coming through here? And then I'll say, because I like to give the king a cake. And then they'll say, oh, he loves cake. Okay, go through. Easy, simple, and then you can go through. One of those things, just a, a rite of passage. It'll serve that purpose for nice imaginary stuff. For purpose number two is um, load. Load in back there. Load, you crazy swamp. There will be a, it'll be a little bit taller, and there will be a little bit of a flag on top, I think. And that flag will be something that we can see. I can fly from over here. So... A little bit of a signifier. You know, when you guys get here and you get in the world, you think you know where everything is until you step foot in it, and then all of a sudden, I'm lost, is what you think in your head. And so you, then you wouldn't be lost. All you do is you'd see, aha, I see a flag over there. I recognize that from episode number 54. And then you head towards the flag. It's a good signifier, I think. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and we're going to do it out of primarily stone. I think, but actually, I need to. I need to mention some one other thing. Right over, here, right over this way. Up we go and up. Note blocks. I just did a video uh, a couple days ago about ten ways you can use the note block in your buildings to kind of uh, spice them up a little bit. I used them there. I used them over there, and I've used them in some other spots as well. Uh, what I'm wanting to do, I'm making a little bit of a, a side series, taking some blocks that people don't normally use, wouldn't normally use, and um, showing ways to use them. And it's, it's I think, going to be very helpful and very beneficial for people because, hey, you start using other blocks in the game that you wouldn't normally use, all of a sudden you can start making some cooler stuff. And it makes the game a little more fun and exciting. It's like you get a new block all of a sudden. So that's one thing. Also, I live streamed last week. Uh, and when I live streamed, you can check that out up on the channel as well. I'm working on a, just a, a practice like creative world doing some really cool stuff. Actually, you know what? Let me show it to you. Okay, so I did this live stream. I believe it was last Thursday. And I believe you can see that on my channel if you want to watch it back. It's like two and a half hours of some good time. Uh, but anyway... We were kind of working on this. I, I, I've been building off camera with this. But the main thing that I've been practicing here is working on texturing. You have a building, but how do you color it? What shades do you use and stuff like that? So here I've been using like some different blocks underneath the windows. It makes it look like, you know, dirty water is draining off the windows and stuff like that. So I've been working on texturing and stuff like that. Um... And I want to try applying that more. Now, it works really well on a huge scale like this when it's really big. But what we're going to be building is going to be a little smaller. And I want to see if the texturing can work as well. But I'm going to live stream again. Uh, we'll do some more in this world. This is just for fun. A little practice world. But uh, I'll probably live stream again next week. On like Thursday maybe again. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, back to Hoiny Craft. Okay, so back in the Hoiny Craft world. So anyway, what we're going to do with this, if we're going to try to do some of that texturing, is mainly the thing with the windows where, you know, you see a little bit of dark under the windows and maybe try to texture out some other stuff where it makes sense. Block variation that makes sense. Uh, that The live stream world, it was all diorite and white. Uh, here, 
the stone color here is gray. You know, we're going to go with stone and andesite, cobblestone and stuff like that to build this because that's obviously what's in the mountain. So we won't have as much variation, but I still am anxious to see what texturing like that will look on a smaller scale. And bang, all done. I think it looks good. I'm happy with it. You know, as I, as I, as I, as I uh, uh, um, um, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Little stutter in my step and in my speech because it's time to shriek. Yeah, oh, very wonderful. So, he built a gate and, you know, hey, this is very imposing. You can't go through this road. You can't go up here unless you pass through the gate. Aha. Uh -huh. Although, well, what if I just go like this, guards? Hmm? Okay, I won't go through the gate. I'll just go this way. <laughs> yeah, we could. So this would make more sense if there were like some mountains or like maybe a little more trees on the sides to block it. So it's like, oh, you don't want to go through the, the, you know, scary forest. But yeah, it's done. This is, I've been learning about crassles. This is actually how these are supposed to be. These um, pokey uppy things. I'm not going to call them the real term because, you know. It's cool to be uneducated, uh, but these these things, the way these are supposed to work is you're supposed to be able to see through there so you can drop rocks and shoot arrows and drop hot lava down on the person. This is, I, I, I'm trying to put ropes and stuff more in my builds or organic shapes. Now, the, imagine, imagine. You can imagine. So up close, it looks like, why is there basalt? Why is there polished basalt? And why is there coal? It does look a little strange, but I think it's nice. I love these doors. I'm happy. This is a little thing. Once it's closed, you can put a little piece of wood all the way through to really bar it closed, you know. But let's look at it from a distance and let's see how it looks then. Because I think... When you're really when you're dealing with uh, using some different blocks for colors and stuff like that, it works the best at a distance. And sure enough, that looks nice. I'm happy with it. I mean, I personally I like it up close too. But uh, yeah, and even you know, dirty water draining off the roof down through there and stuff like that. I think it makes sense and it gives reason to put different blocks in and make it look detailed and make you look cool if you're building it, huh? I like that. So, we've got a nice building in place, don't we? Try this out yourself. Give it give it a try. See what you think. Especially if you're building a bigger build. Like uh, on my castle. Up there. It's something I could add eventually one day. But, now, we're headed to the shopping district. You know I mentioned earlier, mischief shall be had and sure it shall. But before we dive into it which we will, there's something very important I have to do. Hopefully, there's still some questions left at a very special game by Efo. Ah, here it is. You guys remember a couple episodes ago where Etho made this, uh, is this shulker box still over here? No, it's not. Okay. Etho made this thing, and uh, it's, a, it's a trivia game. It's a Minecraft trivia game where it's got Minecraft questions in it. And... I'm a pure Minecrafter. Almost 10 years of uploading Minecraft perfect videos. And um, I think I can answer these very well. Etho had one of them saying that I smell like cheese, but certainly I don't. Instructions. Place your diamonds in the shulker box near the this this lectern. Uh-huh. Look in the shulker box that appears and read the question. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, next question. Choose and toss the one item from the shulker box that best answers the question into the hopper in front of you. Tip, hover your mouse cursor over your choice and press Q. Very cool. The lights turn off. When the system is out of questions, check back later. Okay, very good. Place diamonds in shulker box. Well, I'm flush with diamonds. So I'll do that. And here we go. I'm gonna do one diamond and see what happens. Aha, here's the question. Okay, ready to listen. Not shipwreck loot. Ooh, okay, okay. Loosen up, beat up. What would not be loot in a shipwreck? Paper? This a hard question. Definitely rotten flesh. Definitely wheat. Not bamboo. 
Uh-huh. That's a good sound. That's a good sound. Where's my prize? I didn't get it right. Let's play again. So apparently bamboo is shipwreck loot. That's a hard one. Longest furnace fuel. Oh, uh -huh. I know this. Why you got to ask the hardest questions? Oh, I know it. I know it. It's wool. It's wool. You know why? Because in Etho's last episode, he was smelting things with wool. That's that same stupid song. It was wrong. I got it wrong. It wasn't wool. He, he tricked me in his episode. I'm spending money for stupid nothing. I put the place diamonds in here. Did I answer every question? What? Lights are on. The lights turn off when the system is out of questions. Take my diamond. Take this, please. Place diamonds in here. Easy. I did. Hello? It's broken. Maybe I answered them too perfectly. Maybe I answered all the right questions. Ah! Oh! A oh, wonderful night's sleep, and maybe that fixed the system. Is it fixed? Probably not. Let's go check. You know, Etho made it, so it's probably not working great. Yeah, of course, there's some bugs in the system. Oh, well, I played it perfectly, and I followed the rules exactly as exclaimed, but uh, it's broken, and the lights are on. Etho, come fix your garbage. <laughs> Aha, flying perfectly now into Aku Town. I thought that'd be fun. I thought we'd get some more questions out of it, but sure enough, we didn't. It's okay. It's a fun game Etho put together that I'll never get the answers for, but that's okay. Anyway, here we are. Off Camry, I got all of the banners set up for all of my spots. So you can see, you know, which one's mine. These are the ones that you want to buy from B-dubs. And we haven't really announced to the hermits exactly what's going on, exactly, you know, when to buy them. I like this one especially. This is a nice midway dangler, isn't it? I like the way those banners turned out, even though it's a little hard on an angle. But, of course, you guys gave some great ideas. A lot of ideas were like coupons for B-dubs building you something or something like that. And that's a good idea. I, I, I definitely will do that. Um, but, well, actually, let me, let me just talk about uh, some updates. <laughs> False has put a beautiful building here. You see, Green has been... Filling out the interiors of his buildings that he bought. Etho even. But before we go over to Etho, little scatterbrained, there's a new theater in town. And this is from Suzuma. He built a theater here and it is really cool. Uh, you should check his video out to see the interior and all that stuff. It's very fantastic. Etho has filled out his thing. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but when we sold this land to False, part of the deal with her... She was going to give me a little deal on terracotta, but I also told her if you see any normal flowers here on, in front of Scar building, Scar's building, kill them. <laughs> and she has. And she even put one in, <laughs> in the fire hydrant. So she's um, spraying some, um, you know, some weed killer on his flowers every once in a while. It's just a little prank. But Etho has got a shop in here. And we sell organized shulker box packages. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. This is really cool, though. I like this. I like this business idea. So that's nether stuff. Whoa, redstone kit, 50 diamonds. That's not for me. Wood pile? I mean, this looks really cool. Flower pots! Wait. Hold on. I gotta see this. Oh, that's a good one. Ah! This is a He's not a nice shop owner, that's for sure. Goodness sakes. I also believe... I think my... I think my villager died. And I think because these are open, zombies can get to them. And I, if I'm not mistaken, Impulse, Sweet Angel Impulse, brought a new villager over here. And he's got a cool new hat. <laughs> so, I think we leave these closed from time to time. But anyway, here's what we're doing. Okay? I'm going to fill these up with... Wonderful prizes, but that's not what we're doing because that's not super interesting. What will be interesting is how I'm going to destroy Scar's life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love Scar so much. Scar is one of my very best friends, but we are in a competition for all these diamonds and many, many more. And all's fair in love and war. So, mine... With the banners and stuff are going to look very appealing. He, he has the balloons. They look very appealing. He's got these cool signs. I think we're going to do some things to kind of make um, 
things look a little nicer on our side of the fence, if you know what I mean. Uh, I'll have to build up a little something and show you an example. Ah, I'm in the market for some new land in beautiful Aquatown. I wonder what I'll buy. Wow, this one looks really nice. Oh, and this one looks nice as well with prizes inside. Or there's this piece of land over here. Bleh. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. This. This will set us apart. Very easily. I mean, what do you what would you buy? Would you buy this dumb peep or would you buy this glorious beauty? I think the answer is obvious, but it's not done. We're going to fill this with pigs. Oh, yes, you be. Oh, there's another one right there. Wonderful, wonderful. I think carrots are the only way to bring them. So I'm going to have to take two trips because wow, look at the size of that beauty. I don't have carrots on me unfortunately wait do they follow golden let's try do you follow golden carrot is this is this you like this not following okay yeah i'm gonna have to take two trips it's not very far we're just on the back side of toon towers here and then we get one pig over wait i'm gonna need carrots to breed them that's okay okay yeah yeah i'll get carrots i have carrots actually in wonderful spot my second storage room, the barge. Isn't it wonderful? It's had a big upgrade. Look at the size of this thing. Green put a lot of work into expanding. Though it covers the area that Impulse is kind of working on him with, and then he's gone up several floors. But this is my second storage room in the shopping district. So right down here, boom, go on down, collect my goods. You guys remember Barge Quest? I got a lot of messages from people saying, Beatups, you didn't collect your thing from Barge Quest. Yes, I did. I collect them right here in my storage room. It's perfect. So I'm sure uh, I have carrots in here somewhere. And confirmed I have no carrots. Okay, I'm a stoopy. Uh, wow, what is all this? Look at all this. Oh, okay, don't, don't. Could be spoilers. Exciting. But yeah. This is where I keep all my stuff. And Scar as well. He has a second storage room here as well. But anyway, uh, I'll need to get carrots somewhere. It's easy. Wait. Golden. No. I want regular. And carrots acquired. Wonderful. And replant. Wonderful. Okay, that should be enough. I just want to get, you know, enough to make an impact. Enough piggies. Little piggies to make an impact. And um, I think certainly they will. Maybe... Mm, a hundred pigs per pen. No, I'm just kidding. That's too many. Uh, but I've already bred one set of little piggies. Oh, and they are a gorgeous beauties. Oh, I got my XP for my breeding. Wonderful. So, you guys will, will be the seed. Now, how am I? Oh, oh, th this area is feeling like something. I wonder if it's because of all the banners. Uh, Podzol. I did collect some pods all. I do have some in my inventory and whatnot. But big boy hacker move. Hacker B-dubs Minecraft guy. Uh, just plant the trees. I'm just, this is two birds, one stone. I don't know if you've ever heard of two, two birds, one stone. I, 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 I get, I, I received two birds with just one planting one stone. So I just put the saplings down and look, they just do the work. Plus I get wood, free wood out of the deal. And it grosses up the ground. Nothing against Podzol Party, you know. Uh, Podzol's great. But uh, it works for the effect. So, time to really get cranking. Lots of breeding and lots of grossing. Right this way, little piggy. Follow me. Oh, <laughs> come on. Right over the fence. Oh, perfect. Lots and lots of pigs there shall be. You know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about the scale of this. Because, you know, hey. All, what's the phrase? All is fair in love and war? I said it once before, I'll say it again. And I'll say it another hundred times. All is fair in love and war. We can do, you know, we love Scar, so this is fair. <laughs> That's the stupidest phrase in the entire world, isn't it? It's a silly one. But the breeding of animals, it's one of those things that it really ramps up after a while. It takes some time. 
Aha, okay, we got another grown up here. Wonderful, wonderful. I've got a little airlock system, as you can see. And I wish it was one longer, actually. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, we got a long travel with this one. I've set up pigs in all stations. Here, here, the two down there, and then there's two over here. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He has seven. Wonderful. Okay, long trip, little piggy. Oh, but I love this. This is wonderful. Just need lots of carrots. And I think it's going to be really impactful in our favor. What would you rather buy? A pigsty or a beautiful piece of land like so? I know which one I choose. Man, that breeding's hard work. Breeding pig, hard work, man. Holy cow. But look at this. While I'm waiting, it's just a you know a midway time where we're waiting for him to grow up. Look at this, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times four is thirty-six. And guess what? Oh no, B Dub is running out of stock. Wrong. I stock. I have stock. I went out to the desert and I got a bunch more saying to make TNT. Now, nobody else buy anything because I'm fully stocked. And somebody out here, 18 diamonds buying gunpowder. This is just my overflow storage. This, I just have this out here for freebies. Somebody giving a wonderful tip. Isn't that kind of them? Now, these diamonds, they don't count. They don't count towards this game right here. And I know there was some confusion last episode where people were wondering, hey, you're not supposed to put diamonds from before. It's all about what you've... No, it's everything. Everything, every thing that we've made in a Q town from selling property or buildings or land goes up there. So even the stuff we've done in the past. So you can see Scar's got his up there. A big, huge pile. But oh, baby. We've got a nice herd of piglins. Good swine. Good swine. Once they grow up, this is this weird in-between phase. Once they all grow up, I'll just... Bah, 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 and there'll be a bunch of them. It's a delicate balance between um, lag, <laughs> having lag problems, and being effective. Aha. Wonderful. And can you guys breed? Oh, now we're going to... Now we're really spiraling. We're going to really spiral out of control now. With all these pigs. Ooh, I did a cool jump. All right, what about you guys? Yes? Oh, yes. This is going to be very impactful. You guys are doing a wonderful job. Okay. Oh, yes. Let's take a, a sky view. Has skyscrapers all around. Build scaffolding. Hilarious. Well, I think it's obvious where the good land is, don't you? Boom, boom, boom. That's good land. Boom, boom, good land, bad, gross, swine land. Oh, it's very effective, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. And as the sun rises, that's called a moon. As the moon rises, I think we're going to call it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Stay tuned to Scar's episode to see if he likes his prize. Oh, what's he going to do? He can't, he, this is going to be a lot of work for him. And I'm going to be able to climb ahead in the land games but seriously i gotta go guys it's getting very dark love you guys to death thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode